Katie, how does it feel to be back uh, in Pine Valley? Oh, it's great to be back. I'm having a wonderful time. Um, uh, I, I feel very um, uh, full of love and I feel full of warmth for all the people that brought me back and for all the actors that I get to work with. You feel warm for me. I do. I feel warm in a, in a nice, cuddly oh, nice. place. <laughs> <laughs> Um, viewers finally got to see uh, Dixie and Ted reunite, which oh. was a great special moment to, to, for longtime viewers. How was that kind of acting out with Michael Knight? I love working with Michael, uh, and I was so happy to be given the opportunity to do those scenes for myself and also for the fans, uh, longtime viewers of the show. Uh, it really meant a lot, and. Um, I'm very, I'm just grateful, very grateful I had the opportunity to do that. I mean, for the two of you, it was like working again as mother and son once again. Wonderful. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it's great. Yeah. I, I love working with Jacob and I love our dynamic and, uh, you know, the, the good mother who screwed up a lot. So she's <laughs> not that good. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, but, you know, that way he sees a lot of himself in her, you know, you know, nobody's perfect and, and he's forgiven her. And she's just trying to talk some sense into him right now. But every time we do those those scenes, they're, they're special. And uh, like we said before, we connect on many emotional levels, uh, especially when we're working together. Yeah. And do you think, um, as a character, would JR not have kind of had the troubles that he's had um, if Dixie had been a more constant presence in his life? Well, I mean, I think he definitely would have still had troubles. I mean, and it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be much of a character. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I mean, absolutely goes without saying. She definitely would have kept him in check and and been, you know, been there for him. Yeah, yeah. Jr. might have turned out to be a much like more of a good guy, you know, than than the conflicted and tortured guy he is now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it wouldn't be so interesting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What you've done. Um, and so, what can you tell us about what's how things are going to? Um, end up at least for the network portion of Omen Children for your characters? Well, we really don't know. I mean, we're hope, I'm hoping for happy families and a big wedding. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, I, I, you <laughs> I, don't know, know. I, I don't really know myself, you know, how it's going to wind down. But, uh, you, know, you know, hopefully it's a good resolve and everybody's satisfied at the end of the day with uh, how it all turns out. Okay. And so just looking back on your um, time on Omen Children, what has stood out to you as some of the best moments or most fun you've had? or? I mean, in general, overall, mm -hmm. I, I think some of the best times are always between the takes, uh, cracking up, making jokes. We were doing Russian accents this morning. <laughs> uh, you know, just being silly. It, mm -hmm. That's I'll, I'll miss that, you know, joking around on set. My uh, thing I, I missed the most, and I you know, obviously still miss because now we're here, was uh, walking to work in New York. Uh, it was just something really exciting about being able to go to a studio in Midtown Manhattan and just, you know, that feeling was unlike no other. And on top of that, it was all my children that I was going to, so. So kind of based on that, what do you guys remember, what do you remember most about your first day um, coming on to? My first, your first day, day is Dixie. Trying not to screw up. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I was a tightly wound child. Mm. Very nervous, very mm -hmm. nervous. And uh, I think there was a, a hairdresser, I, I think, who was, um, you know, giving me the, the talk and the big hair. And, and, you know, everybody's smoking in their dressing rooms when, you know, people could do that. <laughs> and smoking on the set, you know. <laughs> and just feeling like everybody was so adult and, you know, grown up and knew what they were doing and sophisticated. And I was just sort of this kid hick who wandered in off the street. <laughs> you know, left into the job and just tried not to make a fool of myself. Yeah. That's, I remember that well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just don't first scenes trip with? over the furniture. <laughs> oh, first scenes, jeez, oh man. Probably, probably David Canary, I think. Mm. I know my screen test was with him. Mm. So I think it was David Canary becoming, you know, and, um, and, and James Mitchell. I think it was that. So two of the powerhouses, did that add to it? Kind oh, of yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a little stress. Yeah. They were throwing me right in. Mm -hmm. How about for you? I was with David and Michael Knight. But, um, you know, I had I had met Michael at uh, one of those Super Soap weekends, and he came up to me. He goes, oh, you know, I was I was talking to my wife, and 
and she's just to tell me, you know, that, that you know, you're such, you know, this, this talented actor because she watches you on General Hospital, and, and, and that was the first time I'd ever met him. So when I actually did get to work with him, I was like, I felt relaxed and I was ready to go. But mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to do a good job, and so it was, I was on pins and needles for sure. Is there anybody that you haven't had a chance to work with much over the years that you would, that you wish you would have had more time to work with or got to work with? Hmm. You know, I finally got to work a little bit more intimately with Susan Lucci this, this period of time, and it was really wonderful. I really enjoyed it. It was so much fun. And uh, so I'll, I'll treasure that we got to do those, those bits together. Um, I wish we'd gotten to do more, because she's a lot, she's, a, she's very funny. She actually likes her comedy. <laughs> and I'm always like, let's go, you know? <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been I've been blessed to have a chance to work with most everybody you know that's been on the show since I've been here and I'm just glad that I've been you know had the opportunity to to work with everybody that I, I was able to.